Hello there guys, welcome to this next Arsenal gameplay. Um, as you can see, I just decided to have a little play with the tactics here. And we've managed to beat Liverpool away from home. Um, so that's actually really positive. Um, so I think what I'm going to take from that is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. We knew last time just before we left that we've got Barca in the quarterfinals. We've got Sunderland in the semis of the FA Cup. We've still got to play United at home. So I think, you know, if we keep pushing... There's a possibility that we could get something here. I think the annoying thing is that Larson is ineligible, isn't he? Yeah, so is Petter. Which does put a spanner in the works of things here. Um, because they are two key players for the formation that I like to play. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with those contracts. Henri's back, which is always nice. He's tired though. That's annoying. Thirty six, he's not he's not travelling with me. I can't do that. Um, I'm going to have to play Edu on that left. Um, and I'm going to have to play Wiltor um, there as well. I mean, the, the, the issue that we've got here is there's, there isn't much attacking prowess. I mean, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Um, but I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd give you a heads up on things that try to do different things. Tried one game there where I changed the formation. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, we've got, there's there's a lot to do, but you've got to bear in mind how good Arsenal are in this game. So I think in terms of the the formation and the the tactics that I've chose, I think going on to next season, stand. I mean, look at this. We're two 0 up against Barca. I mean, granted we're at home, but if we go to the new camp with a healthy lead, who knows? And we need to kind of see as well who we've got next. I mean, I'm always trying to. To, you know, keep an idea of where we are. I mean, FA Cup seventh. I mean, five days to rest after this game should be enough. I don't really believe that you know you should be worried about fitness as such. I mean, we've got Henri coming back. I mean, I don't. I think I'll probably put him on the bench for that game at that point. Um, as long as we don't concede here, it will be quite a good result. And we haven't got much options in terms of who we can bring on anyway. It just kind of shows that, the, you know, the. Not, I wouldn't say a worry because Larson and Petter aren't actually out. They're just ineligible. Youngberg's injured. Uh, he, that's a big miss. Obviously, Henri's injured. That's a massive victory, that is. And I think what that's done now is it's kind of shown us that we can do this. Um, see, I played, yeah, Larson up front. And then from that, shoved Will Tour on. Um, but I think with a few players coming back, we should be okay. So it's not it's not too bad. We've had a good start there. Let's see how we get on here now. Liverpool winning. United are still winning. I think we've just given them too much of a head start in this league, which is a shame. Um, same team. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do here. Um, see, I, I actually think that Petter is one hell of a player on this game. I really do. Still think we need. A, I still think we need a keeper. Decided not to play on Ray. I think that might be a rookie mistake, but who knows? We'll see. We'll see how we get on here. Semis. Now this is normally. Where's yeah Pride Park. Okay, 1 0. That's what we needed. The fact that he's been sent off as well, Jody Craddock, is massive. Um, United are. Well, Fulham have got a goal back. You never know. Let me have a quick look and see who I've got after this. Premier League 10. Okay, we might need to think about actually resting a few players. Yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Petter. See, there he is again. He is massive for us here. Right. I'm going to think about changing a few. I think we're in control there. The fact that they've got 10 men as well. Perez is normally tired. Yeah, 83. We'll bring Will Tour on for uh, for Bergkamp. And we'll also bring Franny Jeffers on for for Larson. I kind of want to give those, those a bit of a chance. I don't feel that they ever will. I, th I feel like Will Tour at the moment, he's kept as a squad player just for this season while we try and sort out who we actually want to buy. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. Ooh, oh, they get, come on, Fulham. Ah, so it's United. It's Arsenal United in the final. That's a big game, that is, you know. Chelsea, this next game against Chelsea is big. I think if we don't get anything from this Chelsea game, I think the, the title's gone. I think you you always stand there. As long as you've still got to play United at home, there's always a chance, isn't there? Team's not looking too bad. I was on Ray. He's 71. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on the bench and I'm going to bring him on because I want him fit. And I'm going to give him a bit of game time. Um, 20 minutes maybe. Just try and get him on. Brilliant. Larson again. God, he's key to us at the minute. Okay. Right, we'll take that. He's playing a nine, you know. He's he's not. He's he's doing okay. He's doing okay. Leicester thirteenth, seventeenth. See, the worry is now with the Leicester game. I kind of feel like I need to play, not a weakened team, but kind of like a mix of a team. I mean, obviously Larson and Petter will play because they'll be ineligible for the Barcelona game, so that makes no no worries in terms of what I'm worried about there. See, look at him. Perez is 60. Bergkamp. Let me just get Henri on for that last couple. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Probably not, but... You know, you've got a few minutes. Board happier. Yeah, so... You know, the only dead certs that we know here is that um, Henrik Larsson is playing and Bobby Petter is playing because they're both ineligible. Right, these are 14th. Right, okay, Perez, yeah. Bergkamp, Perez, Tony Adams. Right, Bergkamp. Uh, what's Henri at this point? I'm going to give Henri a go. I'm going to shove him on, you know, I am. Let's put Jeffers on. There's no point in putting him on if he's not going to... Yeah, he's 88, Henri, but I'm going to put Keown on here instead of Adams. Let's just see what, what we can do here. This is where we see if the squad rotation is good enough to deal with these types of games. Petter's not playing too well. I mean, I, I don't... The thing is, I don't want to... There's no point in bringing Petter or Larson off. They may as well go for the entire game and try and get something... Petter's playing crap. I don't have to bring Edu on. Should I bring Edu on? Oh, who got that goal? Oh, I got it was Petter. See, always trust. Right, that's a massive win. Did United win? Oh, they did, man. They just keep winning. Cannot seem to to get over them. Right, I'm going to clear this squad now because I kind of want to feel to see what we can do here. Look at these. Like we haven't conceded in ages as well. Um. So you kind of know that if we get through this game now against Barca, which is a massive ask, it's a huge ask, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, Larson praise. Oh, God, yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. We've only got four minutes. We, we need the funds, actually, for... For next season, I'm just thinking. I know a lot of you like the Scandinavian searches. In all honesty, you want results right now. Uh, right, cold duff. Adams Campbell, how are we doing? We're not too bad actually here. Um, I did play Van Bronckhorst and I did know with Vieira. Yeah, that's how it worked, and then. Perez should be fit. He's fit. I might play parlor. I might go left, right. Henri, what do you reckon to that? I'm going to play Burkamp behind. Three. 
No, let me let me just do it as in as if I was in a Premier League game. Right. Here we go then. This is massive now, we'll kinda of get an idea of where we stand in Europe. We get an away goal, it's pretty much over. And that's the thing with Henri. It's always a possibility. Oh, we nearly got one then. Let's have a look at the stats here. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to bring in a moto on. I know that it's not the most ideal. You know, when you look at the squad, it's not the best, but it's an option that, that has to be done, I'm afraid. We seem to be holding off here. Let me just check. Ugh, boring four days away. Borough are such a bogey team as well. Let me just check how we doing here. Let's see, Burkamp's tied right. I'm going to bring Will Tour on. Just to see what he can do in that role. Henri's tired. I've only got one more and I have got striker. How's Parla doing? Pire I'll take Perez off actually. Let's see if Pennant can deal with being on the left hand side rather than the right. Oh, this is a shame. Oh, bloody hell, Henri's gone injured as well. Right, just, just get to the end. Get to the end. Right. It was a shame that we got beat there. Henri's ten days. Vieira's two weeks. Oh. Do you see what I mean? All of a sudden now, the whole dynamics of the thing just changes completely. Yeah, in fact, to be fair, Larson can come in for that. That's not too bad. He just needs to be back for whoever we play in the semis. Um, United wouldn't have played there, would they? Right, I'm going to do it in suspense. Ugh. Ugh. I would have taken Deportivo. I would have. Well, to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's what they say. To be fair, look, we've got two games in hand here over the teams near us. Oh, that game's been rearranged, the Arsenal-United game. We just need to keep putting the pressure on. Right, Parler can actually go over there. That's not too bad, actually. To be fair, that isn't a bad team, that. I think that's possibly the best that we could put out. Right, not much in that. <sighs> no. Come on. My parlor's not doing it for me. It's going to have to be Adu, isn't it? He's going to have to come in that central midfield. He was the only one I could bring on that I think would actually do a job there. He's doing a seven. Not bad. Come on. Oh. Oh my god, we put a right spurt on here. Oh my god. How did... We threw everything at it then. I think it's United's. The fact that we didn't get that result then 
kind of gives it to them, I think. Yeah. Right, so this, this should, I mean, bird comes off, typical. Um, this should be, I'm going to put Pennant in that role. I mean, look at the injuries we've got. And these injuries aren't just rubbish players. Vieira, Youngberg, Bergkamp, Henri. It's ridiculous. Um, right, Perez is knackered as well. Um, who have I got in the reserves? Is there a t uh, no. Do I have to bring? Should I bring? Oh, I don't know. Right, let's move that around. We'll put Edu there. Right, so it's, it's going to have to be a complete reshuffle. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for that video. That This was pretty good, to be honest, to get to the semi-finals. Uh, come back, leave it a like, and I'll see you guys later.